Okay, hello everyone. My name is Eun Young Lee. I'm an assistant professor at Queen's University. I'm also an associate editor of the Journal of Physical Activity and Health. And today we have Dr. Stephen Hunter, a postdoctoral fellow at the Emerge Lab at the University of Alberta. First of all, I want to congratulate. Uh, con I want to say congratulations on your recent publication in the Journal of Physical Activity and Health, entitled "Associations Between Parents' Perceived Neighborhood Environment and Objectively Measured Walkability with Their Children's Physical Activity." So, welcome and congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I have three brief questions um, to ask to the author today. So first one, what is your motivation behind this study? Yeah, well, you know, there's a lot of things that goes into to the motivation, but I think with this one in particular, um, we know that neighborhoods are important for, for children's physical activity, but sometimes it can be really difficult to generalize across studies due to different methodologies that are used. And, and what I mean by that is whether, you know, it's objective or subjective measurements of physical activity or the neighborhood itself. So in this paper, we, we kind of take that all into consideration and try and use both um, objective and subjective measures of physical activity and the neighborhood environment to, to try and see what features are important for children's physical activity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, as you know, um, I have been a fan of your work and it's great to see that what this is your from your thesis, right? Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So it's great to see this um found found a home. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna move on to my second question. So what are the key findings that you want to convey uh to the audience? Yeah, so as mentioned, uh, we did use both subjective and objective measures of physical activity and the neighborhood. Um, and we did see some associations, um, some differences in the associations. So, um, you know, perceived residential density was associated with uh, steps per day, whereas perceived traffic hazards and aesthetics was associated with parent reports of physical activity. Um, and we didn't actually see any associations, uh, statistically significant associations between objectively measured walkability um, and either physical activity measure. Yeah, interesting findings. And definitely we don't have a lot of data um, in this age group. So, you know, this work is really novel. So um, based on the findings that you just highlighted, what would be the most important implication um, for future research or innovation? Yeah, I think for, for future research, I think is to continue to use both um, subjective and objective measures in, in, together because they, they tend to measure maybe slightly different things, whether it's the perceptions of the neighborhood or different types of physical activity that are being recorded um, through parental reports, um, but also combining those with other measures such as global positioning systems um, and accelerometers. So we can kind of get an idea of how active and where children are being active in their neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, I think even still, I mean, if it's all feasible and in a perfect world, we'd be able to measure everything. So also using uh, instruments like the micro scale audit for pedestrian streetscapes uh, would also be useful to tell us kind of those smaller features of um, that, that could be influencing whether children are, you know, going out on the streets and, and, and are they supportive of, of physical activity for children. From an intervention standpoint, based on, on our findings, I think looking at areas where there's higher residential density um, or, or, or greater traffic hazards and trying to figure out how we can make those safer places for children. So whether that's 
repurposing or providing safe spots in, in areas that are, you know, have, have a lot of have, have high residential density or including some sort of traffic calming measures um, could be some ideas. Mm -hmm. Great ideas. Okay, well, thank you for joining me today um, and answering to my questions. And thank you for publishing your great work in our journal. Thank you for having me.